franchise where they And I'm driving this Bentley truck like a young nigga don't want to be on earth I ain't with all that friendly shit out some nigga out for they get me first And it's like you in more pain when you on YouTube, what's up, what's up, what's up? Alright, so I recorded a video of me cooking like some food for my mom and whatnot and it was supposed to be like a YouTube short, but it's like six minutes in total clips in total time. And there's no way I can make that to a YouTube short. I'm doing multiple parts and blah, 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 blah. So instead of doing that, I'm going to talk to you about what I did. So a lot of people say you can't make fancy meals. You can't, you know, um, make something happen out of nothing. But the meal I made, I'm going to show you all. Obviously, by the thumbnail, you see what I made. But that meal, I think I spent like, what was that, $40 for all of that? And it made about <clears throat> five portions, right? So basically, what I want to show you guys is that it's possible that you can make a nice looking meal, fancy meal with minimal amount of money. You just have to know what you're looking for in the right areas and how to do it. So I think I'm gonna start doing that more often. I'm gonna start making YouTube videos or showing uh, like ball on the budget, you can say. So you know, have a small budget <clears throat> and then like have a meal I want to make and show you how to look. It's possible. You gotta spend a hundred dollars to make some fancy steak, you know, meal. You can do it in a better, cheaper way and still make it taste great. If you know how to cook and season properly and things like that. So, um, in the comments, y'all can let me know what you know meal y'all want to see me make next, or like two ingredients y'all want me to use. This time, my mom told me to use. She wanted onions and potatoes. That's all she told me. And I ended up making, you know, some garlic roasted, <laughs> roasted, garlic roasted mashed potatoes with. Uh, Steak tips and a red wine reduction sauce, which had onions, mushrooms, uh, shallots, garlic, and obviously red wine. And then, yeah, and I use Yukon gold potatoes. And you, you'll see, you see the video everything I use, right? It'll be right after this. Right after this is over, after I get in talking and babbling on, it'll be right there. But you know, that shows you that all you need to do is think, prep, and you know know what you're doing pretty much and that's you know what basically what it is so enjoy the video enjoy the next clips watching this and let me know what y'all want to see next let me know what y'all two ingredients i could use to make another meal look great on a budget thank you for watching peace disclaimer i forgot to mention this part um this is recorded on my camera and everything else is recorded on my phone because it's supposed to be a short it's hard for me to try to record the video you know what i'm saying with my camera and also try to cook the food at the same time it's easier to do with my phone and make the shorter or whatnot so that's why the camera ain't gonna be different that's just a disclaimer for you guys now and the second thing is the video for us from dallas that is coming up soon i'm editing it right now it's in the process you probably see that later on this week and this is like a filler video so enjoy this one and then that next video will come up to you soon now that is it peace I said, look, y'all see it. Y'all can see all my ingredients right there. It ain't nothing crazy, nothing too expensive. The butter I already had, the garlic I got from my school. Over there, I got some asparagus. Asparagus is really not that expensive for real. It's not an expensive ingredient. Some time over there. Nice white onion, Yukon gold potatoes, all that good stuff. Uh, I always start with a pot of water, cold, you know what I'm saying? Good little trick right there. Uh, help to uh, evenly cook the potatoes through and through. Salt, a little olive oil inside of that. Uh, what am I doing right here? Oh yeah, it's my garlic confit. So look, you get the garlic, some olive oil, some thyme, penna oven for about 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes or 400 degrees. Don't let the garlic burn. And you have you just perfect, soft, mushy garlic that you can put on potatoes, tastes amazing. Or use the olive oil for steaks or whatever you want to use it for. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Do what it, let it do what it do in the oven pan in there like that. Like so. And then I don't know if I can see this for real, but my boy called me Black on Ramsey or something like that. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're going more in my prep. I was showing to my Snapchat story. But here go all my produce and everything I was cutting up. Got my cutting board out and everything like that. This is before I cut it up, before I chopped it. I'm going to snap. And then I'm going to show you exactly when it all come back looking. Bang. All chopped up, prep, and everything like that. I'm really good at this prep stuff, bro. I love prep. Put my music on. I'll be chilling. I'll be in my own zone. Going crazy with it. You know, put your potatoes in the water, taking your garlic on feet, add a little, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I said don't burn it, and I burn it a little bit. But the oil is still very useful. It happens to the best of us. I'm going to season up my steak and my, uh, well, I keep saying steak. It's obviously short rib. Whatever it is, whatever you use, steak, short rib, don't really matter. But then again, whatever you call it, whatever you call it, just make sure you season it up well. Don't leave, like, 
flavorless because who like flavorless food? Nobody. Hot Cheeto break. That's me right there. Hot Cheetos. Love Hot Cheetos. Potatoes boiling. I'm about to throw the short rib into the pot. And when I get to cooking, I'm going to let you hear it cooking. The sizzle because, I mean, ASMR, why not? Why not? Good job, boy. They getting cooked. Trying to flip it around like he's out telling something for real. Imagine when to fill out the pan. It'd be heartbreaking. But it didn't. You see that? Give, give a boy a credit. Give a credit. Give a credit. Right there, I'm showing you using a different fork, using a different one. Not the same one for the steak and potatoes. Even though I probably could get the temperature to, you know what I'm saying, the boiling water. But I didn't do that. I'm going to let these go in the oven. Let those go in the rest for a little bit. Let those chill out. This time, make your uh, red wine reduction sauce. Use the same fat that was inside of the um, pan from the uh, short rib. Add your onions, shallots. I put garlic in there later. You didn't see that part, but I did add it to it. I promise you. Mushrooms. And then we're going to let this go for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or however long it takes to reduce. And I added more butter to it. You'll see that eventually. But I actually can so I'll tell you, look at that. It's all in the flick of the wrist. I'm obviously gifted and talented with that process. Um... A little red wine right there. I don't know how much I added. I added enough, I feel like. And there it is. Uh, time. Need more of it. Stir, stir, stir. Potatoes. There it is. Ah, that my butter. I love this butter. That's very good looking mighty fine if I didn't say so myself. Or wrist action. There's it all done. I just the final product. You guys let me know what you think. I'm balling with a budget. Thank you guys. Peace. I want to know what you feel like. This type of fake baby girl, this shit real life. Falling in love when I know I'm the drill type. Playing with my feelings, that's how you get killed. Right. Beam on the Glock, baby girl, this a real life. Yes, about